Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville with vlog number 298 for Thursday, September 28th, 2023. I was just in the kitchen to see if the new table that Ladies Aid ordered has come, and it has not. Things are a little bit cleaner than they've been for a little while. Uh, John, our custodian, is at work right now. And uh, if I had recorded this about half an hour earlier, you would have heard the, the horrible sounds of the fire alarm. And we, we do the fire alarm every once in a while, fire drills once in a while. John Johnson came in and flipped the switch and all our splash kids had to move out quickly and uh, uh, quietly and assemble and they did a good job. And uh, and we have Thanksgiving meal gift cards I see right here. Uh, we have Christmas wish tree donation cards right here. And neighbors in need offering. Um, that's a special offering of the UCC on uh, World Communion Sunday, which is this Sunday. And we have our new October newsletter out. You can get it online too. And what can I do for Maui? Uh, that was... About a month ago, we were helping them and we sent a lot of money, or a good amount of money there. And I wanna see if it's not too loud, I wanna go outside today. So what's coming up this Sunday? Oh boy, lots of traffic noise. This Sunday is World Communion Sunday. And I have a hymn that has a verse that will speak to that. World Communion Sunday, and it's Bring a Friend Sunday, or Invite a Friend. And you'll see in the newsletter, I said, just invite. If they don't come, at least you invited. If they come with you, that's even better. But man, I've been talking with people that are telling me who they're bringing and who they're excited about bringing. So thank you for, for doing that. Uh, this is an area we needed to grow in and um, you're stepping up and I'm proud of you and I appreciate you doing this. And uh, it's also our fall fest from our Christian Ed department and Marlene has been organizing all sorts of things. There'll be activities in Fellowship Hall afterwards. There'll be food afterwards. You can bring a dish to pass, but you don't have to. And uh, there, there'll be plenty of uh, food for everybody and some activities. Just a good time to put our best foot forward for your friends and family to come and see what St. Paul's is all about. So I invite you to bring people this Sunday. Our scripture, I'll be preaching on uh, the Ten Commandments, and they begin with this passage in Exodus 20. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus 20 verses 2 and 3. So it's just not out of the blue, hey, don't have any other gods. It's this is what I've done for you people. I'm the one that did it. Nobody else did it for you. You don't need any other gods, have no other gods before you. And I'm gonna be talking about the 10 commandments and I hope with a, a little fresh perspective and how it spoke to people whose only experience up to then was being slaves. So hope you come for that sermon, come for the Lord's Supper that we'll be sharing, come for the Fall Fest that comes afterwards and come bring your friends. This is a good Sunday for them to come to St. Paul's and see what we're all about. Uh, let us pray, we're gonna pray for those friends that we're inviting. And also, uh, um, we're giving thanks to Charlie Miller's had a couple good weeks and he's doing a little better than he's been doing lately. Um, there are some other people that are in and out of the hospital. I'm not always at liberty or I haven't gotten the clearance to share that, so I won't share more, but um, we're praying for Charlie. Oh Lord God, we thank you for this opportunity to have a great Sunday to invite friends to. And we pray for those friends before we even ask them, we pray that they'd be open to that. And we pray that you give us the courage or the chutzpah that we need to invite them. And we pray that your spirit would be already moving in them before we even get to them. And that they might be inclined to come and check things out. And whatever they're open to, we pray that you would use that and that we would be sensitive to that uh, in their journey toward uh, being a part of this faith community and getting to know you, Lord, in your saving grace and your love. Uh, help us with that. We give you thanks for the progress Charlie has made recently and had some very good days. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, our hymn today is um, 
from the Church's One Foundation. It was written by an Anglican or Church of England clergyman named Samuel J. Stone in 1866. He lived from 1839 to the year 1900. He died in 1900. And uh, as a clergyman, he wrote a hymn. Oh man, compared to some of the hymns or some of the worship songs that don't have a lot of depth. This one is great. We're looking at verse two. I hear some critters moving over there. I'm not sure what's going on. Elect from every nation, yet one o'er all the earth. This is a good poet. He's talking about the oneness and the varietiness. Elect from every nation. People that are called by God from every single nation, and yet we're all one church. So he, he mentions that in that first line of verse two. Her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. And I think if you listen, uh, Martha on the organ, we'll take a little pauses there. That is not one faith, one Lord. She was in one faith, or one Lord, one faith, one birth. One Lord, who is that? That is Jesus. One faith, that is our trust in him to save us and to love us and forgive us. Our trust is in him, not in ourselves or in anything else. One birth. Ooh, he talked about you must be born again. He talked about being born of the Spirit, a, a new birth that comes from Christ. That is our birth. We're all brought into the church through that birth. Even that person in that lab truck is going by. Um, one holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food. That one name she blesses is Jesus. The holy food is communion. She partakes one holy food, one food for one church from many nations. That's what World Communion Sunday is about. And to one hope she presses with every grace and dude. Yes, we're pressing toward the hope that we have. A hope that's not just wishful thinking. It's a hope that is grounded in Christ. And we have every grace from God above to, to move into that. Oh, God, thank you for for wonderful hymn writers and poets that put the truth in such beautiful ways. And then John Wesley that put that tune to those verses uh, way back when. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, and let me see, we've done our prayer, our song, our scripture from Exodus. And uh, the only thing left is uh, for you to invite someone to come to worship this Sunday, bring a friend Sunday and to come and partake in the one holy food with the other elect from every nation. God bless you and see you soon.